Okay then, so in the last lesson we implemented this kind of front-end routing system whereby when we click on links we request a new HTML template which HTMX then swaps with the current body content. And we did that using a combination of these three HTMX controls. HX get to send the request for the new content, HX target to tell HTMX we want to swap the body content and HX push URL to update the address bar and to push the URL onto the history. So we could, when we're making this kind of single page application, use those three attributes on any anchor tag to a new page and that is fine, but there is an even easier way that we can do this using just a single attribute on the body tag and then reverting to an href attribute on anchor tags. And that single attribute is called HX boost. So the way this works is that we first of all remove the HX target and the HX push URL attributes from your link. So let's do that in the list view. And then we change the HX get attribute to be just a regular href attribute, much like we'd normally do in HTML. And the path stays the same as it was before, right? So now the normal behavior of this would be that when we click on this link, it just takes us to a brand new HTML page at this URL and that's fine. But now we're kind of reverting to traditional HTML behavior of making a brand new request in the browser for the complete new page from the server. And we're not using Ajax anymore to get the template and swap the content. So the experience would be less seamless. But now we can go to the body tag in the layout view and we can just add a single attribute called hx boost and we set that to be true. And this tells HTMX to boost all the links on the page. So what does this boosting actually do then? Well, remember those three attributes we had on links that we just deleted and replaced with a single href attribute. So that was hx get, hx target and hx push url. Well, when we use HX boost, it dynamically adds the functionality of those three attributes to every single anchor tag on the page. To do that, it uses the value of the href attribute for HX get, it uses the body by default for HX target, and it sets HX push URL to be true. And that's for every single anchor tag on the page with the href attribute. So now, even though we're just applying the href to links in our code, HTMX converts those links to how they were before with the same functionality as before, making Ajax requests for new content to be swapped into the body, replacing the old content. And the great thing about using this HX boost approach is that when a user has JavaScript disabled in their browser, the links just revert back to normal links with an href attribute. So the link still works in the traditional sense in that it just navigates us to a brand new web page. Anyway, now I want to go to the other link in the article view and I want to change that as well. So then like before we delete these two HX target and HX push URL because when we use HX boost they automatically get applied and then we change this to href and we keep this path the same. So there we have it. Everything should now work. And if we start clicking around now, we can see that everything still works the same way. Awesome. But this is much easier for us as developers now, because instead of adding those three HTMX attributes to every single link in the website, we just have to add the HX boost attributes to the body tag and HTMX takes care of all of the heavy lifting for us. So that's awesome. And he also mentioned before that because we're using href on our anchor tags, if a user has JavaScript disabled in the browser, then it's still going to work because it's just going to revert back to the original way that anchor tags work with href attributes. And I can verify that by going to the dev tools. Then I'm going to type control shift P or command shift P on a Mac, type in JavaScript, and I'm going to disable JavaScript right here. And then if I try going to different pages, it's still going to work. But notice up here, it will flash to denote that this time we're requesting an entire new HTML document rather than just on the fly updating the body tag. So watch up here when I click around, you can see we get a little flash and it's still working. Everything is still pretty decent, but we no longer have that single page application feel. It is refreshing the entire page essentially with the new document.